Do you go to the art exhibition, stare at the paintings on the wall and have absolutely no clue what they mean? Same. I used to be just like you up until I started doing my major in history of art. So if you're interested in the forms of visual art, want to know more about them, the meaning behind them, or curious just in general, then you're at the right place. So come along as I share my journey of knowing the world of art. So let's start off the series with a good old prehistoric art. Who doesn't love the prehistoric era? Come on, we all love the animated movie Ice Age, right? So the earliest form of visual art was found not 10,000, not 50,000, not even 1 million. It was 3 million years ago. It's crazy, right? So in 1925, explorer found some bones of Australopithecus, the predecessor of modern human. And along with the bone was found a water-worn jasperite pebble, which had an uncanny resemblance of human face. It was found in Makapanskat, a cave in Africa. So, one of the earliest humans must have found the pebble and thought, Oh my god, it looks like a face. Let me carry it with me. And he went that, to that cave in Makapanskat and died eventually. And thus we can find the first form of art although there's debate debate on whether it's an art or not because it wasn't a human made form of art it was naturally occurred that way but we do have installation arts nowadays so even though it wasn't made from a human it's still considered as the art so after the discovery of the Makapanskat pebble from 3 million years ago, the next evidence of prehistoric art we can find was from 50,000 BCE to 30,000 BCE. They were mostly made in the Europe, but it was during the Ice Age and the Northern Europe was still under the glaciers of ice. So in those art we can find intentionally manufactured paintings, sculptures, and a lot of other forms of art. We can categorize prehistoric art into three forms, Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Neolithic era. We can talk about it more in the next episodes, but for this episode, I want to talk about more on why did the earliest humans made those art. So, prehistoric art is mostly consisted of cave paintings. The caves were found in the Eurasia region in France and Spain and there were Lascaux, Chauvet and Altamira caves and many many more and a lot of cave paintings were found in this case. Cave paintings also known as parietal art is really interesting. <laughs> so these cave paintings were mostly of animals and stick figures and handprints and many many more so from these the scholars have found out some reasons on why they made this art one of the first reasons of why they created the cave paintings where they painted out of hunger so the cavemen were probably hungry and didn't have anything to eat mind it they had to hunt and eat so they lead a really hostile life so they might have just depicted the bison, deer and horses on the cave walls just because they wanted to eat. It was like a desired depiction, I guess. So, well, it's funny, but oh well. The next reason is they hallucinated and painted. A lot of the cavemen had hallucinated in their life and they were mostly zigzag patterns and unpretentious patterns and they might have painted on the wall and another reason was they dreamt and depicted me as an artist i do suck at art but i do want to paint whatever i see in dreams in real life well i can't do it in most of the cases but oh well they might have dreamt about these and then depicted the stick figures and the animals and whatnot so in 19th century, scholars thought that they might have just painted out of boredom. But that theory was cancelled out because scaffoldings were made to 
reach the high ceilings and the oil lamp was invented to paint the dark walls cave walls so they didn't put that much of an effort just to be doodle so the next reason was found out by Stephen Meathan in 1988 he observed that the cavemen were doing an analytical observation so the cavemen really depicted few of the rarest animals like mammoth and horses so one of the horses were actually spotted horses so not until the recent times scholars have found that spotted horses were really a thing and really an animal back in the prehistoric time so they might have just depicted those to keep in the memory so on that note they might have been painting for their next generation as well so the next reason is quite funny so the cavemen might have painted out of rage the animals might have killed their family members and thus the cavemen painted the dead animals to describe their anger and fury the cavemen led a bohemian life and they had to travel from one place to another so they might have painted to put their existence on the wall Another reason is they might have just depicted their experience. So, of course, they went on a hunt and they did a lot of things. So, they might have tried to depict those things on the wall to put in a memory because they clearly didn't have camera <laughs> to remember things. So, one of the most important reasons why they painted was they painted out of religious rituals. So they clearly had religion and they believed in spiritual power. So they might have depicted those paintings because they wanted protection from the really ferocious animals. So they might have thought that if they did that ritual, they will, they will get protection. Another thing was uh, in one of the caves was found dancing ceremony. So they had dancing ceremonies too and those spiritual rituals were really depicted on the wall. From that reason comes the next one is those depictions might have given them spiritual power which helped them to hunt. So they clearly had to hunt really really strong animals and to be able to do that they performed these rituals. So last but not least it was created to communicate so we do not know if they had language or not so they might have used these paintings to communicate between themselves if you found this interesting then don't forget to like share comment and follow or subscribe and till next time <laughs>